Alrighty, welcome back to another Dark Souls playthrough thing. We are in Irithel. Yep, and um, yep, there's two ways you can go in this area. And after you defeat one of the bosses, it's going to teleport you to another boss location. And, you know, no break or whatsoever between those boss fights. So that's going to be rough. So, of course, you can just go in and take on that boss before you actually teleport to it. Which I think I'll show you guys. I think that's what I want to do before I fight Pontiff or... What is it? The Giant. Yorm the Giant. You know, I'll take them those guys on. So then I don't get teleported into something and then lose all my souls because this game is such a meanie head. But anyways, we just ran to the next bonfire. This is the Church of Yorshka or something like that. Yeah. But I'm going to show you guys first the way to Pontiff. I'm going to unlock the shortcut. And then I will show you the way to Yorm. And, um, yeah, let's freaking go. Alright, as you saw, that was the shortcut to Pontiff. Go over here, go around the town, make a lefty, and then go through that door right there, which you already opened, because shortcut is a shortcut. I believe the Chloranthi ring is over there somewhere, if I remember correctly. No, wait, nope, that's not the Chloranthi ring. Chloranth Ring is by um, Lord Siegward. I really hope there's a phantom for me to summon because Pontiff is not nice. Hopefully this guy like makes it in my boss room. Come on, go hard. I don't need you doing that. Go Tard. Nice. Go Tard. The, the thing is over here. This boss is parryable, but I can never get his parries. They're he's way more difficult to parry than what? Who, who is that other guy? Who's that other guy, um, Abyss Watchers? Wait, I don't have an Estus Flask? Oh, fudge. Oh, Oz. Oh, Oz. Oh. Can I quit the game? No. Can I Homeward Bone? No. Um. Where's it at? Where's it at? Okay, okay. Okay. Banish. 
Yes. Homeward bone. All right. As easy as that. This game is easy as pickles, my guy. Of course, I had to found some random summon to help me out. Which is, you know, it's not, not terrible to do in my opinion, but, you know, you don't have to do it. You could try and parry and parry and parry. But... You know. But now we are in freaking Anne Orlando. Uh, after I level up, I will show you where to go. Alrighty, with Pontiff gone, you're now in Anne Orlando. Pretty much. Or you make your way to Anne Orlando. This is a very high PvP area. So, like, if you're human or embered up, whatever it's called in this game, um, beware. But, you know, that's no problem for me, because I'm a god dang speedrun master. Lots of goodies you could pick up. Ring of Favor is up there if you want to go up there. There's a mimic or chest or something. I think, if I remember correctly, that's a Ring of Favor. I don't really know, but... Yeah, lots of goodies. That is an illusionary wall right there. You hit that, you go down, you face two big rat monsters, and then they doggle the crap out of you. But there is a covenant over there. I forget what covenant it's called. But anyways, let's on freaking go. Alrighty, so now you've officially hit Andromeda. I don't know what that other place was called, I forgot. But this is the area just before whatever his name's face is, is. I don't remember. Um It starts with an A, maybe. It's a big giant worm creature. With magic arrows, Iron Man beam, and something else. Um, I don't know. Another Estus shard here if you want to get it. It's in a chest just below your drop point. I believe it's right here. Yep. But now, boss time. Maybe we'll get lucky and there's a summon sign up here. Maybe not. It's looking like a maybe not, but that's okay. Aldrich, I knew it started with an A. High magic damage. Oh, and I don't know what type of damage this is, but it hurts, too. Damn, that, that's the boss fight. Thanks for watching.
Well, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Um, looks like I won't be able to beat Pontiff today, or whatever his name is today, Aldrich. But I will show you guys the next area in case you guys do get further than me, which you guys probably will because you guys aren't trash. <sighs> um, let me see. Yep, you go. Definitely want to go. Distant Manor. That's the next place. If you guys saw during my little speed run thingy, I did hit this bonfire before I got here. It's just at the end of all the water after the rat monster. In case you didn't kill the rat monster on the bridge, you just go over here and um, it'll lead you to the catacombs. Or... Not catacombs, I guess it's called the dungeon. Well, congratulations, you're at the Earth Elf dungeon. There is one more bonfire. Lots of shortcuts, lots of goodies here you could get after. You could even enter in the little secret area, Dragon's Peak or whatever. But in order to do that, you'd have to have gone through the Dancer and little Ocelot Osiris. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I am pretty sad and upset, and I don't even know all these mixed emotions. But anyways, have a good day.